はい、はい、何ブはい。But the only difference is this is a stock compression head gasket. We're not going to be running a low compression engine anymore because it's going to give us more power for NA stuff. And when we do turbo it, we're pretty much just going to be running strictly E85 on the car. And that way we'll get better spool time out of it. And it's going to be a lot quicker, more responsive. We'll make more power out of it. Since it's not going to be a daily driven car for either of us, it's pretty much just a weekend car. It doesn't really matter if it's E85. Simply because E85 burns fuel a lot faster than a regular car, we really don't care about MPGs because it's a thrasher. So it's going to burn gas faster, but on top of that, it's going to make more power. Burn up. Burn up. Hello. So the goal is to have the head job done by this weekend. And I honestly think it's probable. We could probably do it. Burn up. We're gonna try and get away without taking the exhaust manifolds off the cylinder head. I think that'll make it a lot easier and quicker. That we don't have to mess around with any of that. So we're just gonna unbolt it from the mid pipe down there. And then we might not even need to take the radiator out necessarily. I don't think so. I think we have enough room to work on the Vanos stuff here that we could just not do that. Cause there's a lot more room in here now that we have not a lot of stuff. So you want to start working on the valve cover? We, take, we gotta take the fan off. but We do have to take the fan off. But I think aside from that, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. We could probably even take the lower hose off and not even drain the radiator as much as we need to. Yeah, just twist it up. So you want to get it on jacks and start working on those exhaust manifold, the six of them to get the mid pipe off. And then I'll start working on the intake manifold and we kind of meet in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So the nice thing about this engine setup is when we put it together, I made everything pretty much as simple as I can as far as the cooling system and the intake manifold system goes. So the whole catch can setup we're running on the car doesn't even plug into the intake manifold. It plugs into one of the intake boots. Everything is super simplified. So hopefully it should be a lot quicker to take it on and put it back off or take it off and put it back on. <laughs> right. Burn up. Good enough. Bird up. <laughs> <laughs> On a six cylinder. Right? <laughs> Did you get it? What? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of them you have to like go through the manifold to get to the other one. It's like weird. They shouldn't even be on that tight because homie put them on not too long ago. Gas, dude. I know. Pouring out. It was pulling on the O2 sensor? Yeah. Is it free now? Yeah. Yeah, it's free. Okay. Yeah, I can just hang out there. It doesn't really matter. So, Danny's got the exhaust off. And I... I couldn't work. Am about here with the manifold. I'm just gonna pull the head off with the manifold on, right? With the exhaust manifold on, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Thank God. I know. I like did not want to mess with the manifold on the cylinder head. I think we can do it. I think we have enough room. Yeah. We just got to be careful to get the head gasket sitting right. 
perspective. Well, I mean, that, the dowel pins will help with that too. Yeah, but sliding the head across the cylinder head surface with the gasket on is probably not the best thing we could do. So right, that right there, mm -hmm. that's a coolant dr drain plug for the block. I think it's like a 14 or something. Try one of those. Here, just crack it loose, and then I'll take it off from up here, and we're gonna have to put a bucket under there because it's gonna make a fucking mess. Yeah. Ow. Man, see? I think I just moved the exhaust a lot. It did. <laughs> the exhaust hella fell. Oh, I loosened it. <laughs> you did? Oh, I think it's freaking full, man. Oh! That's horrible. And I dropped the plug in the bucket. You want to start pulling the valve cover back off? Senior? One of these back in there. Yeah, boy. Here, put that over there. The you left the coils on it. Yeah, bro. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Probably would be a bad idea to pop the spark plugs out. Oh, thank God it didn't break. Ugh. Just drop the shit out of the fan. Yeah, you want to pop them out? It's going to be a lot easier to turn to the TDC. Yeah, that's true. Do you have a... Um... Oh, yeah, because we have to retime this thing. Yeah, exactly. You use power tools for everything, bro. <laughs> Except for torque. You might want to fish that thing out real quick. So Danny's getting the plugs out. I just set the bottom end to top dead and the valve cover is pretty much off. These spark plugs aren't that bad, honestly. No, they're not bad. I only ran them for like almost a year in one of my other cars. Those were the plugs that I cracked the block on, honestly. <laughs> Healthy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so unfortunately the camera is about to die, so I'm gonna let the camera charge while we pull the Vanos unit and the cams off, and then we're gonna check back in and probably just rip the head off. We'll see how long it takes me to pull the Vanos unit off. If not, you guys will catch the cam removal, but we'll see where it goes. All right, so it's been a total of two hours since we started working on this thing. Literally two hours ago it ran, and we're just about to pull the cams off. I got the Vanos unit off. I got the exhaust off. Danny got the exhaust off and the valve cover off, and Attention. we have the intake cam in the position to blap to, to get that up. freaking rip that thing off that's what i'm saying hit it, so hit it with some bird sauce i'm gonna hold it in place dana's gonna rip all the caps off except for those two you guys know how these cams come out if you don't there's a link there's not a link in the description because i'm lazy i might put it on there it's somewhere on the channel somewhere in the 350 fucking videos i have on this channel Much better for you? Yes. And not that one, right? Not that one. We'll be okay. Yeah. The thing is, it's a 325 cam, so it's like pretty mild. Like the M3 cams are the, really the ones you gotta be careful with because they're hollow, they're much lighter, and they're higher lift, longer duration than these are. So these are a lot more forgiving to remove you know what I mean yeah like we didn't do it right but we worked it worked out so we're good but like on an m3 you probably would have fucking snapped the camera right there there you go and just a cam thank you you want to grab the lifter assembly yeah pull, pull the tray out you're not going to be able to um keep the lifters in so pull it out flip it over and just pop the lifters back in their little holes 
Yeah. They're all gonna come out. Yeah. That's how it'll be. They're not mated, are they? The cam hell it just fucking turned. Did it? Well, I caught it. But it, yeah, it did. It turned like, I don't know, 164th. <laughs> Hello, my precious. <laughs> it's freaking green slime oil, man. Nasty. And it only had compression in what cylinder five, I think. Yeah. And it was like twelve. It was like it was like six or something like that. It was like half the amount of compression it needed, or or you know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't compression? It was just not sealing, right? Yeah, it didn't have compression. It had zero compression. Yeah. It had fifty compression on one cylinder. Yeah. To make the crack noise, it scares me. I mean, they are ARP, so I'm not scared. You know. Yeah. They're kind of crunchy, but I think that's from the uh, the lubricant that they use. Oh, we lubed them, huh? Yeah, they have like a fastener hardware lube. I have I have some more in there, so we're gonna have to clean the studs off, put a fresh batch. A pocket. Like Soft that. feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because we're not running any dowels. That might also be why they got lined up funky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, despite it having the head studs. That's what I was saying. Probably just ignorance on our part. Truck-wise, I, with my business, I, I favor Chevys. When I started in business, I could buy a Chevy C130, or whatever it was called, the cheap cheapest one, mm -hmm. for for fifteen hundred dollars. Brand new? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I'm talking, you know, like sixty-six, sixty-seven. Yeah. That's why I was yeah, holding it. Yep. I saw that coming. Run dowel pins, kids. <laughs> Ready? Yep. I got it. You got it? Well, sometimes you'll have like old gasket material on there, but that MLS didn't leave a freaking thing on there, man. That's pretty bitching. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Shit, we might not even have needed to bring that freaking scotch bright thing home, Daniel. That's how clean that is. How's the block look? Brand new. <laughs> Just wipe that thing down with paper towels and send it, dude. Yeah, that's I'm why looking, we need to I'm that's looking, why we need to drain the wall. I'm looking for a neck. Well if it was leaking between these, you're probably not even gonna be able to see it. Yeah. I will say though, that MLS does keep this shit clean. Look how thick it is. Yeah, it's low compression. It doesn't look messed up at all. I mean, we could just try and sell it. We're not gonna <laughs> put it back in the bag. Hundred bucks, bro. All right, so the cylinder head is completely off, and I'm actually really amazed at how quickly we got that done. It's six forty right now. We left my house at six or four oh six. At four o'clock, we were at Danny's house playing Smash Ultimate. We left his house at like four ten, and now it's six forty, and the head's off. So it's off. It looks good. The block is still freaking beautiful, which is amazing. It's already got, it's, didn't we clean the tops of the pistons? We did. Yeah, it's so got it's a little already, bit of carbon buildup on it. It's already got a good amount of carbon on it. Well, that's, that's gonna happen. As long as it's not getting on the intake valves and all that shit. It, it reduces, the cast can reduces the carbon buildup, you know? But we did get the rings well, we on the wide side. Of, a little bit. I'm not worried about it. It's so little that it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's probably not even super caked. We well, yeah, we could. 
We yeah. got the little bristle thing, we could. We might as well. But tomorrow we're gonna hit it first thing in the morning, prepping it first for the thing animal, whenever animal. I get here. Yeah. <laughs> well I'm probably gonna well, wake up prep. a little early you and start prepping. prepping, but I think the issue that we did is one, we didn't machine the surface as well enough for the ARP or uh, BMLS. I, I feel like we may have fifty RA is a really fine finish. And I asked I asked Brett what the machine were capable of and he had no idea yeah so who freaking even knows what that thing finishes to you know what i mean so it looks good on though. top it of that yeah than, it, it looks, looks better than all the stuff that comes back from the machine shop that we for work absolutely yeah 100 percent. on top of that we didn't install dowel pins on the block <laughs> at all you are supposed to do that yeah guaranteed 100%. you guys probably saw how the head was shifting around when we were taking it off it's not supposed to do that so there's a chance that we didn't get it lined up properly, even though we installed it straight up on an engine stand with the ARP head studs in, but they don't give it an accurate, as accurate as a set of dowel pins do. So we have a set of brand new dowel pins from BMW we're gonna be throwing on along with that. The head gasket is gonna be going on and we should pray to God, otherwise we're gonna sell this so, thing, have no leaks. So, we put a dowel pin here. Put and it up in and there, that one? and on that one. Not yeah. these two, right? Those, yeah. No, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We can put it on that one or that one, just as long as we have dowel pins, because when it, we put it on, it'll sink to where it needs to be, and it will not move unless you pull it back up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you could technically put four dowel pins in. You could. I think the the head has slots. I don't know if it has that many slots. Oh no, it does. Yeah, here. That one and that one do. It looks like, yeah. So we can put them wherever we want. I was just gonna put it out on the ends because it staggers it a little bit more. It's probably gonna make it a little bit more stable. These probably look pretty good still. Which ones are the, the? These two are the new ones. Those two are the new ones. Yeah. Does look good though. I'm actually really impressed that it still retained that finish. I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? Like that coating on that MLS didn't even do jack to it. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be in for a good day. I think tomorrow we should go get some Nessie Burger to celebrate. Yeah, take the Cheeto to get Nessie Burger. Yeah, uh, I gotta see what time they close, but yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it done in like three or four hours. I think it might take a little bit longer than that, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna hit it first thing tomorrow. I will see you guys the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later. Oh